Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a nighttime skincare routine. So, um, sorry that the lighting is a little off in here. You can't really see like my real true complexion right now because it's kind of giving me a little brighter. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking in the camera. But anyways, this is my skin and I am going to be showing you my nighttime routine. So I do have um, some problem areas before I get into the video and into the routine that I'm just going to tell y'all about because I don't care. That's why I'm doing this video. So basically my forehead area is my problem area and that is what my main focus is. I'm going to of course wash my whole face and do my whole routine however I'm going to be doing certain things for this area to work on this area so you're gonna see in the video as we get a little more into it I'm gonna talk to y'all while I'm doing it because that's just what I want to do okay so I got all my stuff that I need laid out in front of me and what I normally start with is um, a hot towel so I have, you can't see it, but I have a steamer that steams my towels. I do like to lean over it for a little bit, just put my face in it to open up my pores and get that heat really, you know, going. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to lean over it for literally just a few seconds, open up my pores because I'm going to grab a hot towel and that's going to do it anyway. So yeah, so I leaned over it. I opened up my pores. And I'm just going to take one of the towels and I'm going to close it back up so that the heat of the other towels can stay hot. So I don't know if you can see, but the smoke is coming off of this. I've been having this in here since I took a shower, so these towels really hot. So I'm just going to let it cool off a little bit because... Okay, that heat to open up my pores so I start by putting this towel on my face holding it on my face for just a little bit to open up my pores so y'all gonna see so I went ahead and open up my pores and you kind of gotta work fast cuz it will lose heat fast now that I have my face um the moisture is kind of in I do like to put a little hot water splash it on my face so it's easy for my um cleanser because it will just like push the moisture into my skin so I like to use the tea tree skin clearing foaming cleanser this is oh my eye this is my favorite cleanser right now. So I'll take about three pumps and that's gonna be enough for my entire face. Then I just the pain away. You see and it's tighter in a version like we're down to say I love when you give it and I, I just thought I'll tell y'all while I'm here. I'm no professional esthetician, however, I did go to cosmetology school. I did graduate from cosmetology school, so I know a little some some. Um, I rinse this. And I'm rinsing with hot slash warm water. I burnt my finger, y'all, so it really hurt, but I'm gonna just rinse this. okay it so now that i've rinsed the tea tree i do like to go in i don't do this every time but i do like to do this like two to three times a week just depending i go in with an exfoliant and i'm gonna exfoliate my face and today i'm using the peter thomas roth um the firm peeling gel this is an exfoliant so this is an exfoliant so 
this is what I'm going to use. So I just put about that much on my hand, rub it in. With warm water again. Okay. Hold on. My eyes. I hate, hate, hate having water in my eyes. Okay. Face clean, period. Uh, period okay so now that I have exfoliated I did clean my neck in the tub I just got out the shower so I really don't have to do all of this to my neck but so before y'all girls you know try to come at me because I know y'all like to tussle my neck is clean Okay, so now that I have washed my face and exfoliated my face, I like to let my face air dry for a little bit, but for video purposes, I'm going to just dry it fast with this um, little fan I got. So, now that I have... Oh, I'm, before I go in with my mask, now that I have gotten my um, face dry, I'm going to go in with this little, I don't even know what it's called, y'all. I think it's like a derma or something. I'm going with it, and I'm going to like get all the little, little things out my nose. So, and the cracks. I like to, I'm just holding my nose, pulling the skin, and then I switch the head when I go, when I go to my forehead. I think this get like your little white heads and your little stuff like that, so. Again, I'm no professional, but this how I do it. It works for me. I haven't seen any problems doing it the way that I do it. So that's pretty much it. I don't use that a lot. Okay, so now I'm really about to go on my mask. Okay. So I'm only going to do, I'm going to do two masks on my face at one time. I know it's sounds a little weird, but like I was telling y'all earlier, I have um, my forehead that's really my main focus that I want to improve. So I have this moon um, brightening mask and I'm gonna put it on my forehead. And I may just like spot apply it if I have any other dark spots on my face to you know help brighten those areas. Be very careful with this mask, you guys, if you get it or if you have it, because this mask has turmeric in it. And oh no, my camera finna die. Let me make this fast. Okay, my this mask has turmeric in it, so this will stain. So, dang, my camera finna die. So I use something. I don't know where my mask brush at. I'm gonna uh, put my mask on, put my camera on a charger while my mask is sitting, and then I'll be back. So, just apply a generous amount. You don't want to double dip, y'all. So. But that's enough for my forehead, so I got another one, and I have some dark spots, them freckles, and I'm just going to apply that. Then, for the rest of my face, where's that mask? Oh, I'm going to be using um, an intense hydrating mask, because who don't like hydration? And I'm going to put that everywhere else on my face. And I'm going to let that sit on my face. I'm going to let this 
mask it on my face for like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. So this is gonna sit for like 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm gonna be back um, to show y'all, but this looks funny, but yeah. I'll be back. Hey y'all, I'm back. I do have my camera charged, so that goes to show it's been well over 15 minutes. But that's what I do when I put my mask on. I kind of just start doing stuff. So I was editing something on my computer while I was just letting my mask sit. So you can see it's kind of dry. This mask you can't really see because even if I look in the mirror, it's kind of into my skin. Um, so I just come up close, you can still see that some mask area there so the mask is definitely dry and it's definitely ready to come off so I'm going to go ahead and grab another hot towel to um, be careful y'all if y'all use this thing because it get hot grab another hot towel and I'm going to go ahead and use this to get the mask off Remember, we don't want to let it cool off too bad because we still want the heat. So, to do my mask, I kind of just do what I do in the beginning. Sit the towel on my face for seconds at a time. Let it get in my skin and then start wiping off. So, just doing this. Pressing in. And then I'll just start wiping my face. And my mask is off now. Okay, so remember I told y'all about that brain mask and how it stained? This is what I'm talking about. It really will stain your stuff. So I have facial towels that I use for strictly for facials. So I really don't care if it stains that. Okay, so now, now I'm going to dry my face again. This fan come in handy, baby. Amazon, go get one. Y'all better come up here and get one of these. It's a portable fan. <laughs> okay, so now my skin is dry. So now I'm doing the finishing touches, and we almost done. So. I like to go in with tea tree oil. Come on, focus. Okay, well, it's just tea tree oil <laughs> by the body shop. And I just be careful with this too, y'all. Do that. And I put that in my problem area. I kind of just put that all over my face. You don't need that much of this. It's strong. All tea tree, anything is strong, but it's good for you. So I do that, and then I have this um, soothing treatment that I kind of just spot apply. Um, this is by Origins, Organs, and I use a Q-tip because it's watery, and I just put this on my problem area. So. All my discoloration, I'm putting it there. I use the other side of this Q-tip. The other parts of my face. There we go. So now, after I did that, I'm going to go in with some vitamin C serum. This is also really good for dark spots. Um, you want to use vitamin C serum for dark spots, but I'm really going to apply this all over my face. Okay, so because vitamin C is good for you. Okay, 
So now that I have the vitamin C serum on, I'm going to go in with a toner and I'm using the Fenty um, Skin Fat Water Toner. And I'm going to tone my face. Okay. After I tone, we're almost done. After I tone, it's definitely time to moisturize. And I'm going in with the, I can't even pronounce it, but this is it. Um, Water Bank Moisturizing Cream. It's a really hydrating cream and I really, really love this. And a little goes a long way. And you need to hydrate your skin. So I, if you notice, I use a lot of stuff that's hydrating. Um, yeah. You don't need much of this. It's very, very good. To my girlies that wear makeup, you want to make sure you take care of your skin so your makeup application is always flawless. So, that really concludes that really concludes my skincare routine so that really concludes my nighttime skincare routine thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe let me know if you like this kind of content and what kind of content you want to see me post oh i almost forgot sorry <laughs> um this is by the same company that moisturizer is from it's just the um a lip mask that you put on overnight like, I hate my lips to be dry, so you just put that on. It smells so good. And you're good to go. So, yeah, like I was saying, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you like this kind of content. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for my future videos that I'm going to be posting. Please like, comment, and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of content you like. If you like this kind of content, what y'all want to see me post. And thank y'all.